This video is sponsored by EA. Hey guys and welcome to a very, very, very special video. The video where I show you the three lots that I made for the new expansion pack that will be out very, very soon. And um, yeah, I can't really quite believe I'm making this video, but here we go. So um, last year, I was approached by Simgu Frost to ask, uh, I think this was in a week of maybe submitting my pieces for the 21st anniversary. I was asked to tell my availability for a Zoom call. Um, and then I had to wait six weeks before said Zoom call to happen. And we were all in the Zoom call and it just happened to be other British Simmers in there with me. And uh, yeah, we found out we were being asked if we would like to build for the new upcoming expansion pack. Of course I said yes. So here we are, I'm gonna show these videos. This is a bit of a different format. I normally do speed builds, but I wanted this to be the best possible outcome possible. Well, that didn't make sense. I wanted to make sure that these lots were just perfect. I know that not everyone watches my videos and long after people have finished watching this video, the builds are still going to be there. So it's most important that the builds are good rather than the way that I capture them being perfection. This video is recorded before the final version is available. So I'm actually recording this on a super early access. So this is not the final game, but um, yeah, I'm going to, my past me is going to show you the first draft of all of my lots and then we're going to show you the last draft and then my future me is going to just like glide in with great editing and show off the final shipped version when I get the early access later on in a few weeks, a month um, and show you what happened if they had to optimize my lot, get rid of stuff. You're going to know because we're going to go through all of the versions and um, I'm going to explain to you what the hell happened along the way. So without further ado, here is lot one. Okay, so here is lot one. Um, this is the first draft that I submitted. You'll see it changes a little bit along the way. And this is a rental lot. So of course, I could just about do anything. Um, but yeah, you need all the general amenities that you can have in the rental. Uh, so yeah, this is it. Uh, this is in the forest area. I don't know the name of the forest area because we've just been calling it the forest area. They don't think they had the names as we were building them. But um, yeah, so this is the lot. I really wanted to tackle this rental lot because um, my I went and visited the Cotswolds last year and we stayed in this amazing... Are you digging? Sorry, the bunnies are super cute and you're just digging. Um, yeah, we stayed in a rental place and I'm telling you this was the most spectacular place I have ever stayed. Views for days, just mountains and sheep and llamas. The llamas was a sign. Um, and I really wanted to recreate it and this looks nothing like it. I must say I found it so easy to build with these items, but just not that very niche particular style I wanted for this. So we kind of went with a slight essence of what uh, the played we, place we stayed in, but then simsified it we'll put it that way so yeah i of course did a modern extension on this because i just went back to my roots this is where my channel started building with modern extensions it was like that's all i did was build modern extensions onto houses um so i th we thought we'd bring it back full circle but yeah this is the first draft um so yeah this is it um Traditional, like regular build side extension with all of the extra amenities in it. Um, and when we were building this, we didn't have everything, all of the assets at the beginning. I know, I think we had a lot more of the assets than the guys that built in the snowy escape expansion pack did when they first started. Um, so yeah, should we start downstairs actually? Sneak peek, oops. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make sure that this had a kid's bedroom because I thought, oh, it'll be families coming away just to, to, to ignore the sim. She doesn't come with the lot. And also you don't get, what are these? Chimmy. 
yeah, you don't get that also when <laughs> when you get this lot. Um, that's just my sim for playtesting. Yeah, we have this modern extension. It's got the kitchen here. I should zoom out so you can see the pillars. Kitchen. Um, I didn't use the new cabinets in this one. I think I might have sorted them off in a future edition. I can't really remember what I did. But we got given guidelines of the best way to optimize this. Um, at the very beginning, I did not know that, you know, flowers and stuff, if you place one hydrangea, it's at, or if you place 50, it makes no difference to the performance because it's an instance object. So that one, thumbs up. Um, if you limit yourself with the amount of unique objects, you can place more. So you'll notice here in the landscaping, I made a conscious decision to only use a few different types of plants. That meant that I could just go kind of crazy with the landscaping, put in as many plants as I wanted and not have to worry about optimization. Uh, one of the things that we had to do was make sure we didn't use move objects or alt placement of objects. And this first draft has plenty of alt placement. I didn't turn on move objects, but I thought, you know, who's going to know if I just perfectly alt place something or rotate alt rotate it well they did know so so that is one of the things that does go uh but yeah i used the bunk beds in this um i got a little sneak peek of these uh the like fully functioning version and um yeah we had a downstairs bathroom we got this like this is reminiscent of the place we stayed it had like this big fireplace and then a lounge so i kind of that was the same as the rental place that i stayed in and then we had some kids stuff. So I was thinking at this point, kids, we have like the play, um, the monkey bars and everything. And then we move upstairs and we have the adults upstairs or you could have another kid in here, but yeah. So two double bedrooms, pretty well neutral and understated and just a nice general relaxing place to stay. Um, loving the new items in here as well. The bathroom is just delicious. No new toilet, you'll point out, but we have um, the new bath, a new sink, and all of these new windows on the outside as well. There's a whole load of range of windows to choose from, and they have like all the matching swatches and stuff. And the flower boxes are really cute. And I was really happy with what I did with this when I first submitted it. But I have to say, like, the feedback that I got was really, really helpful. So, um, I'm now gonna switch to the final edition that I submitted for um, being put into the game. Okay, here we are back in um this rental property this is the final edition that i submitted to be added into the game i don't know yet what they've had to change what they might have to, to remove stuff to optimize and things like that but we had several zoom calls and submitted several versions of this along the way and i'm just going to tell you everything that has changed from the first submission so it looks pretty much the same from the outside so that one didn't change I had to go through and redo my landscaping because I thought they wouldn't notice the alt placement and they most definitely did. Um, we've removed the monkey bars, I'll, I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, and then we've got a nice easel in here, that was um, one of the suggestions uh, that came through in the meeting. They thought it'd be really cool to have um, some kind of extra activity like an easel here for the amazing views that you could possibly do. And if you have the easel here, you can look through and there's this river here that you can uh, paint. So you can get amazing like paint by reference um, paintings out of that. Now, one of the main things was I had this chimney on the outside before, but I didn't have a fireplace on the inside. I had a wardrobe and they said it was kind of disappointing. They thought, oh, it's going to be a fireplace. And then they went inside and there wasn't one. So I completely agreed. I think uh, the first time I didn't put one in because maybe I made this a little bit too small. So what I actually did was just expanded this out by one tile so that I could actually put a fireplace in. 
So that's what we have in here. We have a fireplace. We have this cute little mug decoration. I thought it would be a nice um, little extra touch to put in this picnic basket here um, because lots of places where you go to rent them, they have like a starter kit or something to get you started. They have like the kind of essentials. Maybe they give you like some butter, some bread, some milk. So I thought maybe that was left here for the people that rent. Uh, but yeah, let me let me put the walls up. My yet yeah, my columns are disappearing. There we go. So one of the main bits of feedback was that it maybe it would be slightly dangerous to have your kids on the uh, ground floor unsupervised at night time. So we just said, who needs a place for the kids? No one. So let's just demolish the room and open it up. So uh, I kind of redid this area to look similar here to the kitchen. And you've got your little card table in here. So yeah, it's just another area, a breakout area for you to do activities. Um, some other feedback was, though this just used to be one plain wall and it was to put in a door here just so you didn't have to go all the way through down here and then up there to get in the kitchen. You can go either way. I think we changed the orientation of the table maybe. I think it was this way before. We've changed it that way. Um, but yeah, generally the last edition we put in things like these little clutter items of the pots and just added in a few more, like swapped out some items that I had added in that were placeholders. We had basically all of the final items by the time that we did this edition. Um, there was only a few items still missing from the game and yeah so I managed to put these in this was one of the last plants that got added in and I was like oh we didn't have it for ages so I made sure to add that one in and yeah all of this has been placed with no move objects no all placement um and it took a couple of goes before I got rid of all of the all placement out um I've added in this new light that comes with the pack which is super cute it's still yeah so it hasn't changed too much. I swapped out my flowers for the new flowers that come with the pack. Um, out the back, we still have the barbecue um, area and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I removed all of the kids stuff because we didn't have a kid's bedroom anymore. Um, and then we go upstairs and I've changed out some of the uh, rugs that came with here, I think I had this same rug and it was a little bit too repetitive, so we changed all that. Things like changing the lights, made sure not to use the same light and it to be too repetitive all the way through. Um, but yeah, I think that was generally it. I don't think it's changed too, too much since the first edition. Um, it'd be interesting to see what if they need to remove anything for the final one, but yeah, that is it. Okay, so here we are we have the final build it is future me or should i say present me that was past me um onto the first lot the rental lot i have brought my sim here um and we're gonna take a look around now full disclosure i have kind of already looked at all the, the lots to see if i could spot what had changed and there are really only a few minor tweaks i've got to say on this one, on this lot, I'm going to be honest, I couldn't find anything that has changed. And I needed to like kind of go in and check everything because, um, yeah, like on first glance, you don't really see anything, any differences, but it really, I can't spot anything that's changed apart from I must say that we now have this nice dark wood trim, which is what it was meant to be like forever ago but that didn't quite happen but yeah I think apart from that everything looks cool can we just can we just appreciate this outfit also um I dressed um a sim up just randomized just her up in some of if one of the outfits that comes with the new pack stunning um so yeah i really i can't spot anything the only thing that came to mind in this one oh was the picnic basket is no longer here so i had like a picnic basket on the table i don't know if for gameplay reasons they don't like to block a possible seating position 
at the table but yeah that's not there and then also when we go upstairs yeah i think this one got off pretty unscathed like it's basically intact the only thing i noticed also yeah i said the only thing i'm now i'm now saying another thing um i was hoping and i <laughs> that there was going to be some extra swatches in the roof and I was going to be able to claim ownership of, happen of that happening but unfortunately there were no extra swatches because there was meant to be extra swatches to match this but unfortunately time must have run out but yeah that is build number one and um, I'm gonna like insert I think screenshots here maybe with a little bit of music something like that uh, before we go on to the next one. In the second lot that I did this is also in the forest area which is a little play tester sim here uh, this house is for a elderly couple and it's just completely different from the first one this one was allowed to have more personality because it had uh, pre-made townies going into it so yeah we added the extra clutter and personalization into this one um this i really wanted to make sure that i used the thatch roof because that came with this set and we got to use the dormers um this was about i decided the mentality with doing all these first drafts was we were told it's better to put too much onto the lot and to have to like pare back and remove some than not put enough and have to keep on adding keep on adding keep on adding so I just decided to build these lots like I would any other lot and not the only thing I think I had in my mind was to make sure not to use too many unique objects so I tried again like the first lot to keep my landscaping to um, only a handful of different plants so that I could use as many as possible um oh my god there's bunnies in here um and yeah, that was about it. I kind of tried to use the same objects maybe multiple times instead of taking unique ones. All about the optimization, we learned like the kitchen counters um, take up a lot of processing power because they have so many interactions on them and things like the computer as well. So yeah, I, this one, I really wanted this cute garden. I just feel like an elderly couple would be so into their gardening. They would you know they're retired they don't have anything else to do apart from garden so we had this like walled garden i used a lot of old placement in this and as you learned before the old placement is not allowed to be a thing uh but we managed to still i know in the final one capture the essence without using old placement i think i was really quite the rabbit just disappeared down in a burrow um <laughs> without having the ability to use move objects i feel like probably i use less items in the build than normal but i was still quite surprised with how much we were able to add into builds um i thought it would have to be a little bit more sparing but like this is fully fleshed out this is this is not me restricting too much if you get what i mean uh so yeah this one 
Uh, I, we knew that there was an item to come to, to kind of finish off and top the roof. So this was just kind of a placeholder. We have the new um, gardening patches out here. And they wanted to make sure that we kind of always had a chicken coop somewhere uh, but at this point of building there was no chicken coop and I didn't actually know how big it was so this is my placeholder chicken coop I think this is probably my favorite feature of the whole house it is my placeholder chicken coop and uh, yeah just lots of trees around so I wanted it to continue to look like it was in the forest so we still have more trees on this lot and just dirt paths rather than not so manicured this is like the only manicured area but all the rest is just au natural and again I was conscious that I wanted to do a different color palette for this so this is darker and I was think I was slightly influenced by um, one of the shell houses as well for the color scheme I think originally I had this before I submitted it I had it in like a really pale um, stonework and then light wood with blue accents it just wasn't working for me I was like no it's too airy fairy and it's too um, elderly guys that live here so I wanted it to be a bit more not French countryside <laughs> so yeah here we are um, this first draft I've kind of done this extra side self-contained workshop I thought one of them might be quite handy and then we have like an outdoor toilet personally in my house we used to have an outdoor toilet that was just <laughs> you didn't really want to go there um because it was freezing when you sat down but yeah that's 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 a kind of I thought it's an out building maybe they might uh, sell the eggs and things from the chickens and it would be useful if they have people coming to visit that could just go into this outbuilding and not have to go through their main house I thought that was kind of cool we have this huge like deck out here again with barbecues and then the kitchen which I got to use the new kitchen on this one uh, the first one I didn't because I wanted to keep it more modern but this one was a more traditional build and I've used like a darker colour palette on it and yeah it just overall it was just a bit more cosy and a bit more friendly and just a bit more personal used the new wood that came with the pack which stunning floorboards and yeah more traditional darker and I love the wallpaper, this kind of William Morris-esque wallpaper, I, I, I see the nod. Sorry, my, my curtains, I should have corrected these. My curtains fell down, they um, updated the curtains and uh, we had to move them up again. So don't worry, that won't be like that in your final um, version of this. But yeah, this is the first one. It's cluttered, it's got character. Um, the upstairs I've done the master bedroom again I think that this showcases the great use of how the new items can be mixed really easily with base game because this is only the new expansion pack and base game and I think it just kind of breathes new life into the base game items you get to use those in with everything so if you do only have the two packs it's going to be really easy to build with them so um yeah we've got the two bedrooms i put in um double beds into this they are a couple so they're only really using that one but this one's like for someone to come and stay maybe they've got niece or nephews uh coming over to stay and the bathroom again I just liked having the ability to use a new bathroom I really love the um, roll top bath it's really cool yeah so this one again had all placement as I said but the one in the future will not um, your one won't and I honestly can't wait to see if this manages to pass the optimization test I don't know but um, now I'm gonna roll on to the edition that uh, I submitted the final final edition okay here we are with the final submission we've had a few more assets to play with we've added on the roof trim which is so amazing I think this is one of my favorite pieces because 
it makes everything look just a little bit more chunkier so I've been able to add that on I think I've changed out these windows these used to be butterflies I've changed to the foxes um, and just added a few more details we put in another gnome all of the landscaping is now without alt placement we were allowed to use quarter tile placements so that's how I've been able to uh, stick with this and then I think all of the front is pretty much the same I think I've just added an extra window I know in one of the meetings I had a window that was not aligned I was most most embarrassed um, but this one during the process came up as having uh, being over the allotted amount for processing I think so it was like first thing to do if it's over the limit is to remove I think lights and mirrors so in this one I had to remove the lights that used to be around here and I think I had to reduce the vegetable patch to six instead of eight so barely any adjustments and I think I had to remove there was one of these like a base game version of this over here and I had to remove that um, and then I've swapped in this because we didn't have this asset to start off with I always knew that I wanted this we um, saw all of the assets that were to be added in so we could kind of plan ahead and put in placeholders for the base game but yeah it's just I, th I think it's not it's not really much different from um, the first it's just really kind of little tweaks and then we got the chicken coop that you can have here so you know my very very expertly done placeholder had to be removed to put in the final edition which I think is super cute and then um, we have this fountain as well and one of the feedback um, points was that maybe we should make it that this was accessible here so now we've now got a door into this extra area where you can woodwork and everything um, yeah so that you so it wasn't self-contained so much that you had the option if you want to get in you could go through this door or you could go from the inside um, little things like I used to have a, a typewriter there that was um, a rewards object and you can't use any reward objects in these builds so like the unlockable ones I didn't use that I swapped out the old my vase for the new one that comes with the pack just little tiny details I have to say like looking at I think this is the first time I've gone through and looked and there's not really that much of a change um, things like I had a huge painting then it was like removing it and changing it for a smaller one um again the whole alt placement thing and what i think the most dramatic thing was i have to change this to a single bed because there isn't enough space to put a double bed in here um so this single one could still work up against the wall but a double one you can't necessarily use um when it's pushed up against the wall well at least they're not advising it for these starter well i'm gonna call them starter builds and it's not really a starter home uh but yeah i think i think it's pretty much the same there's like not really that many noticeable tweaks on it again as well we use the trim here um this isn't the final edition of the trim i can also add but um so that when they update it for the final build it will have the thick trim on it for the thatched and that is very much a key feature in the game is well in the game in the countryside would be thatch roofs and it was important that there is a trim to make it give it that thickness that so it isn't as thin as a normal roof but yeah so um future me is about to just come and swoop in and show you what the final shipped version is and if there was any changes and if it met optimization boundaries and let's see future me again okay build number two um it's here there's a couple of changes i've noticed in here so i'm going to show them after you but this is going to be a pretty quick um overview of like the final versions i think these basically other versions that have been optimized um and little improvements have been done 
let's get into the changes that I first noticed. The most obvious change is that we now have this roof little critters thing and the trim going on where it wasn't here before. So that was one of my, my after submission requests was to put on this. So we have the chicken and the fox. Uh, I decided to do the, well actually that's a rooster isn't it, rather than a chicken. I decided to do those two because we have the uh, chicken coop back here. So they didn't have any other animals so I thought we'll do that one. It's kind of a bit sinister but also it's okay. So <laughs> that was it. Um, the main outside of the house, we all look good. I don't spot anything. And then we come just to this little side bit here. Now. I have had the game now access for it for quite a while but I've only intensely been using it for like the last four, four days, four days. I give myself four days to do all my builds plus this overview video, well done. Um, but I noticed that we no longer have a gate here and there used to be this exact gate here. Actually, did I? I think maybe before I didn't have a gate here and this was open so they could walk through and then there was a gate here so they've moved it yeah so I personally um, need a gate there or just like a hole would be good just a hole so that um, my paths make sense see that boom path makes sense um, so yeah, that was, that was not quite to plan. Um, that's it on the outside. All of my planting still stayed, I'm pretty sure. Did I have this tree here before? I must have done. They wouldn't have put a tree in. Um, I think I had a few potted plants around here and they got removed, I think. It's really difficult to tell. It's been like a month and a half since I've seen this and I kind of looked back at my previous footage to see if I could spot anything um but yeah I'm a little bit rushed because I'm about to lose access to this uh, very very soon but inside the only change I've spotted is this here so I used to have this desk used to be like there like that and it's been moved over here and I think also maybe the colour change. I feel like I wouldn't have used a grey desk. Like I would have had it dark wood. Like everything else in here is dark wood. So I feel like that's changed. You'll have to let me know because <laughs> I'm, I, I don't have time to check this. But also um, Simgru Morgan asked me afterwards after I submitted would it be okay to add in this new uh, computer I don't think it was available when we submitted so I said yep um, plop that in so that's what we got in here instead we've got a uh, computer so one of them was the master muser so that was kind of cool so they can be a writer and um, have their fabulous typewriter but yeah downstairs all pretty much the same and that's about it so we're going to go on to uh, the screenshots of this finished article and then I'll be my past self will be back <laughs> with build number three.
And here we are in the third and final lot. This one is located in like the village center. Um, it is the pub owners of so the Scots, the pub owners home. Um, they own the pub over here. Um, that is not Aiden's pub. That is not the pub. That's the placeholder. Um, so yeah, um, this one was, is my first draft of the lot that I submitted. Um, I may have had been playtesting this a little bit and maybe added in a few too many things. Uh, so yeah, we'll get to that later. But with this one, I wanted it to be completely different. This is the last one that I was um, able to start. And I wanted this to be completely different to the other two. So hopefully you see that each one is kind of different than the other. Each one has its own color palette. And yeah, so this one, super, super tiny queue. I think this lot is, well, how big is this lot? It is a 20 by 20, so pretty small. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to add on this like sunroom kitchen uh, breakfast area. I just imagined your Sims being able to sit here. Crazy awesome light coming in through the windows and sitting there and having breakfast or having dinner at sunset. Uh, so yeah, the Scots live here. The brief was basically that maybe they wanted to start a family soon. So I needed to put a nursery in here. That's the kind of law behind it. The um, wife, um, Mrs. Scott, she owns the pub and then her husband kind of, I don't know really what he does, but he does not own the pub, she does. Um, so, but they both live here. And again, we wanted to make sure that most of the lots had a chicken coop. So there was a chicken coop. This one is heavily populated when I um, submitted it and they're unhappy and hungry. Oopsies. <laughs> but we have another chicken coop here. Definitely free range. Uh, they do like kind of wander around and but beware there are foxes around. Uh, so yeah, we got the garden and patch and then we'll go on this one. I really wanted to make sure that I did this extra little roof detail. I was taking a risk. I wasn't too sure whether I'd be allowed it because it's kind of using platforms and half walls just to get this tiny bit of roof further down to kind of hug here. This is a feature on a lot of British homes that have the roof line coming down further like this. So it goes slopes down. If you try to do this with a normal wall, um, the wall would just cut through the roof and it wouldn't look great. So I've kind of used a combination of platforms and half walls. You have a little tiny little, little, little shadow gap there. But um, I got given the thumbs up on that one because it's just, it's too nice of a front view to um, not have it. The plan was hopefully that Wisteria was getting added into the catalog at a later date that I would put that on there, but we weren't allowed to use alt placement. So we ended up not doing it. If the whole offends you, please feel free to alt place Wisteria or the Ivy just to cover that little bit up. I would love to see this also covered in ivory. So um, yeah, feel free to do that. I will not take any offense whatsoever. With this one, I thought that Mrs. Scott is kind of, I'd say she wears the trousers. So I'm gonna say that the interior was to her taste and not her husband's, um, considering that they've moved here to open up a pub as well, which is her dream. I just thought maybe she has more of a say on the interior. Um, so slightly more feminine. We've got this green, we've got the kind of pinkish toned wallpaper. Yeah, it's just all a bit more feminine. We've got the new cross stitching here and then onto the kitchen, which I think is my favorite part of here. And feedback from the gurus was that this was their favorite part as well. Um, was this kitchen and I really loved that the platforms are now in and I got to do this little sunken part here. So you got just got to do just a tiny detail of having to step down into the sunroom slash dining room was um, something that I really, really wanted to do. And then all of the columns, these are new columns that come with the pack and they're great little kind of extra detail. And then 
going through here i have another entrance at the back because i thought maybe she might sometimes work from home and maybe people might be coming to drop off invoices or things like that for the pub so she has this like office that has a side entrance going into it so that nobody has to kind of come through the main house they can just have another side entrance kind of similar to the um elderly couple's house where they had like this separate toilet area i thought maybe they had a business excuse my my blinds then we come up here you can see my little roof trick we've got found not foundations, platforms filling in the gaps there and there. Um, so I put in a window in here, so technically you can't really see out, but it lets a nice little bit of light into this dressing area here. And as you see, um, someone's a little bit tired, but this is the main uh, bedroom and we're able to use the new bed in here, which has some really, really nice designs on it. I'm just gonna go through I don't know if these are the final ones, there may be ones added, who knows. But yeah, that's that's the main bedroom, as I said. I think uh, that the lady does wear the pants in this relationship and she, she gets to say what the colour palette is. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more feminine. And again, part of the brief was to make sure that I put in, sorry about all these curtains being down. I should have gone in and fixed them all. Uh, so the nursery, um, again, this new wallpaper with the woodland theme on it was super cute. Gender neutral, so we don't know what baby they're gonna have. She is not pregnant at the time. You are going to have to um, take matters into your own hands if you would like her to have a baby. But the idea is that they're like thinking about starting a family very soon. So uh, that's why the nursery is here. And then we have the regular bathroom and everything. So um, yeah, that was, that was the first draft that I submitted. And let's go over into the final submission and see what's changed. Okay, so here we are with the final draft of the house that I submitted and pretty similar i think the only thing i changed on this one was maybe i think i pulled out the roof eaves for this um we've also the i think the terrain paint was a little bit harsh that was one of my notes to make it soften up so it doesn't create a harsh line with the lot boundary they did query my striped lawn um to which i say we are british all it does is rain um so we are able to keep these lovely manicured lawns uh so that was the idea behind this they are very much proud um of their garden and you know everyone knows everyone so maybe it's a little bit of keeping up with the joneses to have the striped lawn but um yeah so we stuck to it did tell tell them um at the studio that striped lawns are definitely a thing over here so um that i kept that one and then all the landscaping trays stay the same. I think I changed the colors of this a little bit and then also removed all the vegetables that I populated into these patches because it was making the performance of this lot go through the roof. Removed all the chickens from here because again, performance wise, so you'll have to add in the chickens and the um, vegetable patches onto this if you decide to play with this family as well in here and then we have the upstairs the nursery stayed the same i think all of this has stayed the same um i don't think i changed much on this i'm gonna be honest um i put in some extra clutter pieces that we didn't have the first time around that i did the first draft so we have now there you can put all your eggs in this and the pot what else do we have? I've changed out my vase um, for the new one that came with the pack. Let me just zoom out so you can see the columns there. Put on some window, um, some curtains on the windows and then added in I think the new uh, rug. So this rug started off a lot bigger but we gave feedback and they said that they would reduce the size of the rug so it fits perfectly so i think it's three by two now was it four by three it's four by three and because 
Normally, the size of a rug wouldn't really matter that much, but because we couldn't size anything up or down, we couldn't use the nine key, the zero key, we couldn't use the brackets, um, then that meant that it was really important <laughs> that it fitted and that I could actually use it in one of my builds. So I think this is the only build that has this rug in it out three because it managed to fit in this one. And then we have the new fireplace again and the new lighting and everything. Oh, and this one, I don't think I got to use it in any other one. It's really, really cute. The blanket and the extra pillows and stuff. Oh, so cute. And again, the cross stitch. And then we have the office at the back that I don't think anything has changed. And oh, the only other extra thing that I had to do to this one was they thought maybe it would be best if we had the sink in with the toilet. I think that's more of a gameplay thing so that your sim doesn't have to go from one room to the other. Um, but yeah, this is the final submission build. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like in its final version. Um, so yeah, let's go and check it out. Present self slash future self back again with build number three and here we are. The finale, uh, the final one to take a look at. We now have the townies that are living in here. So this is the pub owner, um, <clears throat> Sarah Scott. So she, you'll see her behind the bar serving you a drink and also her husband, Simon Scott. This one, uh, I have been looking, eyeing it and there is one big change to this lot and that is the terrain paint strangely enough uh so if we look here i have looked at my footage to compare because i was like something's not quite right <laughs> what's the difference and the difference is uh i used to have three plots here and i know when i was building it there was a bit of an optimization issue of this was this is a small lot and not very full in terms of items. And it was coming back with um, exceeding the performance limits. So that's why I said I depopulated the chicken coop and um, took all of the vegetables and crops and stuff out of the patches. But it looks like maybe they had to delete out one patch, one uh, crop patch. There was three before, now there's two. And I think, I think my theory is that quite possibly some of my terrain paint disappeared. Um, so I did have it when I was building this, this lot, some of my terrain paint did disappear and I put it back in and it was fine afterwards. But I have a feeling maybe that glitch happened again because the terrain paint is just clear gone that used to be here. Um, in the first one you'll see like I had these pebbles and I have it also going around here and I have all the dirt to blend it in and I think it's done the terrain paint glitch. Uh, so yeah and when you have the terrain paint glitch it doesn't always get rid of everything. Sometimes it just gets rid of one type of terrain paint and I would say it was the pebble one in this in this scenario. So. The pebble one's gone. Also, I had a circle of the pebbles with the grass here as well. And then it went into soil. So this is all now being changed to gravel. Uh, I used to have three planter boxes and now we have the one. So another optimization thing. And I also think before I used to have four chairs and now we have two. So they're kind of subtle changes. Uh, also, round this way, I used to have the pebble, this 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 pebble green with grass and pebble mix uh, for the flooring, and also no, it's still there the kind of barky wood chippy stuff. But yeah, I used to have that going up here, and now we've just got gravel. So there's been some slight itty bitty changes. Oh my god, also, I've just spotted an... Uh oh. So uh, I've also just spotted that this window's a little bit too 
Hi, now let me press my F5. It doesn't quite align. Um, so you want to change that. Um, whoopsies. And let's see, on the inside, I think I used to have like these decals going here, these bunny decals. And I think maybe I had, I definitely have more than one picture on the wall. I had like a row of three and I think that's been reduced as well. And I maybe, I feel like I had a light somewhere, maybe not. When, when you're not using move objects, you really can't squeeze anything into these gaps. So do I have, oh, it still has the cloud light. But I feel like I had something on this wall. I think definitely the bunny decals are gone. Then we have the bathrooms the same. I think I used to have another painting here. Yeah, I did. I put the pub painting there. I remember, yeah, I remember detailing that because I was like, oh, she's in the pub. She can put the pub thing there. That one's gone. And I think another, I had another light here and that one's gone. So they're tiny, like tiny detail changes. I also think I had my bouquet of flowers here. I don't think I used that. I had that there. And then I think I had a plant here as well that got removed. But apart from that, I think we're good. Also, also I feel like I had a pink sofa here. I don't know if it's a color change. I don't think so. But yeah, I think that is it. That is everything. I think I've had one piece of clutter removed as well from the kitchen. But you know, that's about it. Really subtle. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how far you could push the build and still meet their build criteria. I'm pretty sure they haven't extended their limits for game changers or anything like that. This is all within their normal um, build and optimization targets. So yeah, that is, that is, that is it. So I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. I have had access, as I said, to the game for a little bit now. Uh, my lose access in approximately seven minutes. Uh, this is how f close to the wire we're cutting it. But um, I'm going to have after I stop blabbing, I'll have screenshots of this final finished one as well. And then um, in the coming days, probably tomorrow, I'm going to release my first speed build. And then on Sunday, there'll be the second one. And then another two the week after. So I have done four builds. I managed to do four builds in three days. I don't know what came over me. I was some kind of building machine. Um, I think it's the fact that it was a limited packs. I kind of didn't have options. So I just did it and I went for it. But unlike these three builds, which I hope you do enjoy using, by the way, I don't worry, you can bulldoze. Um, I used alt placement and moo till my heart's content. So prepare your bodies for way too much wisteria and ivy on the outside of a house. And alt placement galore. Um, until then, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.